So, what is herd immunity? It is defined as the resistance to the spread of contagious disease within a population that results if a sufficiently high proportion of individuals are immune to the disease. But what does that mean? Let's picture a herd of cattle. Now if a new deadly disease were to spread through the population and there was little immunity, the entire population could possibly be wiped out very quickly. Now imagine the entire herd was immune to the disease except one cow. There is an incredibly small chance that this one cow will catch the disease. Which makes sense considering that all of his cow friends, cow family, and cow neighbors are now immune to the disease. Now these are, of course, extreme examples, but two truths remain. First of all, having more disease-resistant cows in a population actually increases the likelihood that any particular cow will survive, whether they are disease-resistant or not. Secondly, there are different levels of disease resistance, and having a little bit of disease resistance is better than having none, and having complete immunity is much better than having a little resistance. But if you're watching this video, you're probably not a cow, and if you are a cow, then, um, moo? But for the rest of you, the same principles apply for humans as well. When you wash your hands regularly, or sterilize frequently used surfaces, it is like you are receiving a plus five disease resistance stat just without the shiny cool armor mod. Here is a quick list of the CDC recommendations and their corresponding buffs. I strongly encourage you to start practicing all of these and feel free to pause the video if you need to. You may be thinking, well, I'm a healthy person between the ages of 18 and 34 years old which you likely are if you're watching this video, there's no chance of me dying from a disease. Well, first of all, you're wrong. But secondly, the benefit is not only for you. Remember what I said about the cow friends, cow family, and cow neighbors being less likely to catch a disease? Well, this is also true for any human friends, human family, and human neighbors you may have. So in short, if more people are resistant to a disease, then fewer people, whether resistant or not, will die from this disease. So wash your hands. One more thing, I know this topic is slightly controversial to some people, that's why I waited until the end of this video to discuss it. But if washing your hands is like a 5% resistance buff against all diseases, then being vaccinated is like 100% resistance to one particular disease. Imagine a dagger that instantly kills any troll, but has no effect on anything else. In short, they are a very good and very useful thing to have. Okay, this really is the last thing. You could view the information in this video as a kind of good disease that can spread through the internet and help fight off bad diseases that spread through people's bodies. However, this video is not very good at spreading on its own. So it would be really, really great if you'd infect, <coughs> share this information with many people and it also couldn't hurt to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.